Um, we formed a group. Uh, out in, well, it was kind of out of necessity as well because we needed a we needed a production team to put on the show. We needed a means of of uh, putting on this show, and then in we did it with a with a vein to or with a view to uh, doing similar in the future, and just like having an outlet for people with like a creative vision and um, that they want to see um made into like brought to life in performance uh and uh truly really just to bridge the gap kind of between like people's creativity and what they um what their hopes are for a certain for a certain idea or a certain uh yeah for yeah to so just to give them an opportunity to uh fulfill their vision basically um, and to kind of bridge a gap between the the community and then this world of theatre, because I think, like, this world of theatre has become very, like, there's a very artificial divide in between, like, the community um, and people within that community, their vision, uh, their artistic vision or their... Uh, their creative ideas and and this like artificial kind of world of theater that has been put on this pedestal that is away from it's away from the ideal upon which it was founded so so yeah we're just trying to basically trying to bring bring theater back to the community and like really just yeah just make it very accessible for people and for if they should they have any ideas should they yeah for make it very open to to any artist, any to any person within the community with an idea that they would like to see expressed, and like we just facilitate that process for them and um, source people for them. Um, yeah, the rooftops of Paris is a uh, is my own play. It's worked in um, it concerns a young couple uh, who actually. Um, I've just bought a studio apartment just off Barrack Street, which happens to be behind the space. Um, and they, yeah, there's just about basically the journey that they go on um, at like the end of the Celtic Tiger. Uh, just before the end of the Celtic Tiger, they've bought this place because they used to live um, down in the country with her parents. And so they needed needed somewhere to live because she's pregnant and so they're they're moving into their first home uh, first time buyers I think they called them back in the day um, but yeah and so it's so it's just to it's just a kind of an illustration of the the pressures that they're under how they interact with their society like what uh, what affects them what influences them um, yeah, and like then it kind of focuses in on Charlie's journey more so, and then like um, how he develops, and how it, like the pressure he's under basically as a uh, with his wife pregnant and he's working in a bank and he's unfulfilled in his job and then he's under a lot of pressure to repay money on the house and so it's it's just basically how um, an illustration of of that of that journey you know like in the, under the pre land so it's like un, and in a broader sense it's kind of a representation of um because there's a whole generation of people in that in a similar position uh with similar re relationships to the houses that they've bought just towards the end of the Celtic tiger or outrageous prices and now are really just chained to their house and have so much pressure under them and they're very it's easy to forget them but it was a kind of it was there was a certain innocence in in what they were doing. They needed somewhere to live, so they they were told to buy houses, so they bought houses, and so and now they're just in in a state that they're really really yeah they're they're uh, under a lot of pressure. They're in a very they're in a, it's a hard a hard position to be in for sure. Um, so yeah, the main cast uh, we have Aidan Moriarty uh, is playing Charlie. Um, he's we've uh, always had a good like uh, relationship, and uh, he's he's a very good actor. Like he's uh, got a lot of potential, and he really he's got a great commitment to to what he does. He's got a great love for acting, and he uh, he brings that with him 
no matter no matter what piece he's uh, working on, no matter what production it is. Like he's I've worked with him a, a a good few times now, and like it's always he's always he has a lot of respect for the art of acting and like for for what he's for what he's doing, and he he works very hard at it and has got a great natural flair for it. So he's a he's. And he's doing wonderful work with us, <laughs> to put a light. <laughs> um, and then Paula Weldon is uh, playing Cara, and she's similarly. She's um, both both our lead actors have, have really developed a wonderful chemistry together, and she's really been been fantastic in in how she's adapted to the role and her interpretation of the role, and uh, and she's very. It's very striking how she takes direction. She's very um, aware of, very aware of the character's journey and like the process, the thought process the character uh, goes through and like the influences on them, uh, on her, from yeah, just from basically the outside and what. So she's a very affected character. Like it's a lot of what she does is kind of reactionary, and I think Paula really grasps that really well. Like cause she's, she's been fantastic to work with. Like wonderful. Uh, wonderful characters so, yeah um, and uh, Danny Hale is playing the barman he's a, a good friend of ours as well and um, he's yeah there's nothing nothing more I could say really about Danny he's fucking fantastic he's just been a, he's got a lot of experience like he's worked he's worked on a lot of shows and uh, he yeah he's he's brought a lot to this production he really has he's put uh, He's, when he came into his audition, like it was so apparent straight away that that was it. Like you know what I mean? There was no one else we had to audition for that role. That was that was that sewn up. He's got a wonderful uh, chemistry with Charlie, uh, with with Aiden, the main uh, fellow who's playing Charlie. So yeah, and it's it's exciting to see them work together because they really they really have a have forged a strong relationship with each other, and they've been uh, they've shown great commitment in in developing that relationship and like. Uh, he's uh, Danny in particular um, has done a lot of work on his back character and like really made very strong decisions. Well, they all have, but like it's very noticeable with Danny as well, and um, that he's made really strong decisions on on his character. So it's it's cool. It's really it's nice to see. Like, um, and it's been a yeah the whole lot of them. Uh, they're the three main characters, but like everyone we've had to work with. Uh, had the uh, everyone we've had the absolute pleasure of working with it has been uh, it's been great it's it's been great to work um, it's been such an honor like such a privilege to see the commitment other people have given to the show and they've been fantastic to work with so uh, I hope for their sake more than more than anything else that um, that it goes off well and that it uh, you know communicates the the idea the ideals upon which it was founded. Oh, there's a fucking pigeon on the roof. Brilliant. Oh, perfect. Oh,